Welcome to episode 5 of my Emacs tutorials. Uh, today I'm going to be focusing on themes. I'm going to be quick about it. I'm not going to show various different options. I'm just going to get straight into uh, the set of themes that I like. There are others out there and you can find them yourself if you want. The So I really like the look of Doom Emacs. Um, if you don't know, Doom Emacs is an opinionated config uh, that focuses on Vim key bindings which is evil mode in Emacs. Um, and it, it has a lot of other packages that make up Doom. Um, and a, an alternative to Doom is SpaceMax, which is a similar situation. Again, it's a config that loads in other, other um, plugins, different plugins. Uh, I actually started my Emacs journey with SpaceMax, but I found it a bit bloated. I didn't really understand what was going on. It was kind of a bit overwhelming to start. And also I started with evil mode, which in SpaceMax you can turn off or on. And I turned it on and I decided I just wanted to start fresh. So I understood what was going on with my own config. So as you can see, Doom Emacs, I like the look of it. So this is what we're going to aim for. There are three packages that we're going to need to install. Um, there's Emacs Doom themes which is the main list of themes, has the main list of themes here. So the flagship themes, Doom 1, Doom 1 Lite, Doom Vibrant. It also has some other, other themes as well that you can try out. And it also has some other themes, uh, some other config here as well. So for different um, different plugins, so like TreeMax, Neo, Tree. Uh, so, but I'm not gonna go into those today. I'm just gonna focus on getting these themes working. So another thing about Doom Emacs is this mode line. It's quite nice compared to this mode line here, you know, which is gray and a bit boring. It's nicely colored. It ties things together. And it just looks nice. So for that, we're going to use Doom mode line uh, and Doom, Doom mode line because it has this icon, uh, this GitHub icon. Uh, we'll also need a package called all the icons. And we're going to do all of this inside our um, Emacs D for most people, if you're starting out. It'd be init.l, but I have multiple configs, so I'm going to do it in this one. So here's our config from before, all ready to go. And we're going to use use package. So we can use package doom themes. Uh, we want to ensure that it's installed on startup. Oop. We want to, the config to load a theme. So we could do doom one. So if I execute that, there we go. So you might get a, so if I do a Cario dark, if I do this, uh, try and load this one, if I execute it, I will get this message saying, uh, loading a theme can run list code, really load, yes. And then treat this theme as safe for future sessions. So you can say yes or no to that. But if you say no, every time Emacs starts, you'll be asked this question again and again. So it's easy to just say yes. So there's the Doom Acario dark theme, which is all right. Um, it's a fun. Um, but we'll leave it on that for now. Why not? It's fine. So, okay. So that's sorted. So for the mode line, what have we got here? Again, we can use use package, install use package, which is great. So use pack package, package, do mode line, sure it's installed, and then a hook. So after after Emacs is initialized, um, we're just gonna immediately invocate do mode line. So as you can see, do mode line, nothing's happened because there's only an after init hook here, but I should be able to do mode line mode. Should be able to do that and our mode line updates. Lovely, lovely, lovely. So I actually have all the, I, uh, I actually have icons already installed on my system, so this works, but if this was a fresh install, that wouldn't work. So I'd have to use package all the icons. Again, ensure it's installed. Um, and that's all you do for all the icons. Again, it's already installed. But once you've installed the package for the first time, you also need to run um, all the icons install fonts. And this will download and install fonts. Are you sure you want to do this? Yes. And this will download various various sets of fonts. So this is the 
GitHub repo here. And if we go to fonts, these are the fonts. So Atom File Icons plugin, Font Awesome Icons, GitHub Octi I Octi Oct Icons, Weather Icons, Material Icons, and then a custom made font. And there we go, installed. And now this is our Emacs. <laughs> this is how it looks, that simple. Again, you can go through, try out these different uh, themes and try the configs, you know, it's one of the nice things about the Doom uh, Doom Emacs themes is that they it, they integrate well with other plugins, like I said, with TreeMax and NeoTree. Uh, TreeMax is what I use, and I'll do a do a episode on that probably at some point. Um, and it it just works. It just works out of the box. It's just easy. So there you go. I mean, that's that's it in a nutshell. Nice and quick. Nice and simple. Three three packages, and already Emacs our Emacs is looking far better than the default um if you're on youtube like and subscribe if you're on library tip and follow uh also leave comments if you want to see anything if you want me to go over anything again i know some of these things i kind of bumble through or i go really quickly but if you want to see something else let me know i'll happily go do it again or go into something in more detail and apart from that thanks for watching and i'll see you again cheers bye yeah.